हाय सुषमा हाय हीना गुड टू सी यू कैसे हो हीना लॉन्ग टाइम हाय श्रुति You guys are able to hear me, right? Can you just give me a thumbs up if you're able to hear me? Yeah, Apeksha is here. I am sure all of you are waiting for her to start her class. Apeksha, I sent you a request. Can you please accept? Good Hina, I'm good too. Uma, are you here? Hi, Sudha Chari. Uh, Apeksha, I have sent you a request to join me in the live. Can you please accept the request? Guys, are you able to hear me? Somebody just give me a thumbs up, or yeah, we can hear. Or you can even leave a comment. Yeah, Uma is here. Okay, Apeksha, I've sent you a request again. Hi, Uma. Art Studio by Apeksha is unable to join. Hi Priya, hello. Ah, uh, Kanchan. Okay, let me just. Uh... Kanchan Shah, you don't need to send a request to be in the video. Uh, you can just see. Yeah. You're just waiting. Hi. 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 Finally, finally, I can connect. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we'll just ask Uma also to join. Just have a chit chat for a little while till we have more viewers, and then. Hi. Hi, Uma. Hi, 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 Swati. How are you? Nice meeting you. First time I'm meeting you. <laughs> I'm meeting you. Same here, dear. Then there is somebody asking. Uh, hope my uh, like my voice is clear, Swati, Uma. Priya, Hi, Sudha. Hi, Priya. Hi, Prerna. I could see few comments. Joshita, hi, hello, hello, everyone. Thank you so much for being here with me. Uh, just a minute, Apeksha. Not audible. Minute. Not audible. Ah, uh, Priya, talking and the other person also is talking parallelly. Then one person gets muted. So now myself, let Apeksha. No, you are able to hear Apeksha. Apeksha. Please talk something. What to say? <laughs> let let few people join in, and then we'll start uh, the conversation and the project. Let's talk a little bit about text. Text ke base ki baati kya hai? If you have text ke bases, you don't have to think much, right? Thank you so much. टी सी एस के जब बेसिस होते हैं इतने अमेजिंगली uh, डिजाइन होते हैं इतने फिनिश प्रोडक्ट होते हैं कि हम लोगों को उसके ऊपर ज्यादा कुछ करना नहीं पड़ता वी डोंट हैव टू वर्क हार्ड मच ऑन दैट राइट डोंट नीड टू वेस्ट आर टाइम प्रिपेयरिंग नो यू डोंट हैव टू डू एनी काइंड ऑफ सेंडिंग और प्राइमर नथिंग यू कैन इमीडिएटली स्टार्ट विद द पेंट्स Sometimes I don't use uh, the primer or gesso or anything. I simply start with the paints. I love the quality. I love the quality. 
Yeah, for all, for those of you who are joining us today for the first time and have uh, Uma here, and both of us together uh, joint co-owners or joint owners of the Hyderabad Secretariat Science Center. Really good to have all of you here. I'm sure you enjoyed the previous lectures, and uh, we will definitely the tutorial also. I just have a request for those of you who are following from, I mean, who have come to this video from Apexa Space. Please do for Hyderabad because what is happening is when I've seen sites, our previous site classes, the number of viewers are a lot, but almost twelve percent of them are not following text. Guys, the reason we just with these wonderful answers is to get some our page. We want to kind of uh, connect with other crafters and uh, help you, you know, get your orders. You can. Process your orders to us. So please, so text dot on Instagram. We are also on Facebook as the Element Craft Studio Hyderabad. Okay, uh, you are able to hear me, right, Apeksha? Yeah, I'm able to hear you. Is there is somebody on and off. Your voice is uh, getting breaking. Breaking there is something. Somebody is Appu's dost. Priya, Priya has left that comment for you. Hi, Priya. Priya, I said uh, I said hi to Priya earlier also. I I hi Chitrali. Thank you, Sudha. Right. Can we start the class, Apeksha? Am I am I audible? Yeah, yeah, very clear. No problem. Okay, you would you like to see the sneak peek of the project? Before Umal is the. Uh, oh, you you would like to see the project itself? Guys, somebody comment. She is asking you if you would like to sneak or you want. You to you would like to see the project or you would like to see uh apart like something more apart from the project? Hi, Fiza. Let's not uh, like. Let's immediately start with the project. What 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 do you think, people? Just say, my friends. <laughs> okay, once again, I'll ask the question. Apex is asking us if for this project you want to see a sneak peek of the project, or you want sneak peek in the sense the complete. Or she starts the tutorial. Would you like to see a sneak peek? Show of something the more. Who was saying show something more? The इतना जल्दी जल्दी comment चला जाता ना project or more? Okay, let me just show you two three projects where I have not used any kind of molds also. I have not used any molds, just text के bases and आपके पास जो भी base में पड़ा है. Wow, super beautiful. I think Swati, I'll leave. Actually, the screen will be big, and I'll uh, say. Okay. Yes, thanks. Apeksha, we really want to buy the screen. Will be big, and I'll leave. Okay. Uma and I would hold hands. Thanks for making this today, making this anniversary event. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Okay. Bye, dear. So here I have not used any kind of mold. Only the text ke jo frame hai, PCS frame and the base material I was having it. No molds. Even the embossing part and everything. No molds. Wow. Beautiful. Then this is the second. Again, no mold. But the different combination. Which project? Bath ke liye rakhe. Let's start with the project. Otherwise, it will like it's time consuming. So let's start with the project. And once I finish the project, I'll show a few more projects with the text ke bases. Guys, I'll be turning off the comments right now. Uh, uh, turning off the comment doesn't mean that uh, if you have any question, you cannot ask. Even if uh, you have any question during my live, you can definitely ask. By see, uh, 
साइड में एक क्वेश्चन मार्क दर इज अ क्वेश्चन मार्क सो यू कैन डेफिनेटली आस्क द क्वेश्चन इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन राइट स्वाति कैन रीड एंड आई कैन रिप्लाई आई ट्राई टू रिप्लाई ड्यूरिंग द लाइव राइट सो लेट मी जस्ट फ्लिप द कैमरा एंड आई जस्ट गेट द पेज thank you so much guys for being here as you know we are turning off the comments so your highs and all that we won't be able to see i think the direction is okay no uh, uh, i can see a... i think this is the direction it's okay no matlab yeah. Uh, If I'll walk this way, it's okay, right? I'm walking on this base. Yeah. And we are making this clock. Wow. But actually, the clock is like this. But I'm not using. I'm using it as a rack. It's a shelf kind of a thing. Like this, I'll be putting it on the wall like this. And here. Here at this, like on this part, I'll be putting the calendar, like this. Uh, yeah. After the live is done, probably you can share a picture of this being mounted. Yes, on. yes. It will be like this actually. Yeah, yeah. I'll be putting it over here. Now that is some. It will be. It it will be like shelf. It will not be like a clock. It's upside down actually. Shelf and a clock together. Okay, so let's start making. There are some techniques also. I'll try to like share as much as I can, if, like it's possible for me. So, firstly, I'll be uh, showing the this part because we are doing. Let me just see if you can see here. The aluminum foil embossing is there. the old style of aluminum foil embossing so we'll be doing this technique so firstly i'll be using the size ka apna stencil first i'll emboss this with the stencil so i'm taking this stencil Swati, you have to help me with the name of the stencil because I don't have exact idea the, uh, the name of the stencil. I'll be taking the paste, texture paste. So I have already marked here. If you can see, yeah. I have already marked it, the center part, and I move uh, because it's a one fourth stencil, right? Uh, you all can see the stencil exactly. Uh, I think this mark. is the one. The stencil will start showing up the design because now it's transparent, guys. This will be a part of your kit, so don't worry if you, if I don't get see. Them. Now I think I think now it's clear. so i'll be using the stencil i have already marked whenever you are like using such kind of stencil just take care of one thing just take anything any any particular design as a reference for example here i'll be taking a heart as a uh, reference so what i'm going to do i'm putting half heart on the line so this will be easy for you to match the second part like this firstly match the center half heart over here on this line and half heart over here on this line so like this design you can continue for other three sides and you will get the perfect design right so let me just So the lights and everything is okay, no? Absolutely okay. You can move your uh, base a little towards uh, the center of the table or work area, whatever you call it. 
Okay, let me just finish with the stenciling. Then after that, I'll uh, do that, right? Because once I've started the stenciling thing, I just cannot move my base right now. And now half I have done, like one fourth I have done over here. So again, the next I will do it. Oops, I will do it on the opposite side, like this here. I'll be doing it over here. So again, let me match the center and the heart. Heart on the line like this. Yeah, this done. Now, before you start applying, I think it is in, on the center right now. You have to move towards your right hand, Apeksha. Okay. Don't worry about all these things, it will go out. Let it dry. You want me to put it over here, right? Like this? Is it okay now? Yeah. Okay. So let me dry this part first of all, and after that I'll do rest of the part. And now I can do these two parts. So again, I'll be matching the heart part like this. Bear with the background <laughs> voices. I have two small kids, so unka kuch na kuch chalta rehta hai.
lot putting in the for the project. Sorry, lots of hearts putting in already for the comment. They can at least send hearts so I can see the, all the hearts. So this is done. Stenciling. Once it dries, we'll start working on this with the aluminum foil. Is it a regular aluminum foil which we get in the market or is it something different, Apeksha? Sorry? Is it a regular aluminum foil which we get in the market? Or no, is yes, it yes, it's a regular aluminum foil which we are using in our kitchen. Okay, fine. See, before doing the foil work, you should take care of one thing, that this should dry completely. Okay. It should not be semi-dry or anything, like soggy also. It should be dried completely. Otherwise... So if we are doing a purchase, if you are planning on a purchase and... Uh, Sorry? Paste and leave it open. Yeah, I'm leaving it for some time. Until the time, we'll prepare the base. So, as I said, we'll be using it upside down. So first we'll prepare the base, let it dry for some time and here I have already marked the center point, center line so that we can align everything properly. Now this part, see it is already looking like a rack and that is why the idea came up in my mind that why, why not to use like this instead of putting it on the desk, why not to use like this. So see the shape. This amazing shape gave me the idea of the track things. Right? So first we'll cover this just to make the um, pillar kind of a thing. This is old uh, vintage style where you know everybody, everybody knows here that my style is working like, my style of working is kind of a vintage, right? So... A pillar ka look dene ke liye, I'll be using some corrugated sheet and a chipboard. You can directly use the corrugated sheet, but that will not give the strength because this is a hollow part, right? So that, that will not give the strength. So what I'm going to do, I'm using a chipboard. And I've already folded it like this. See. Okay. The shape of the... Yeah. So let me just... Stick it with the arm. Right now I'm sticking it with the glue gun. But seriously, glue gun is not for these kind of projects. I'm just doing it to make the process faster. But it is not reliable at all. So you can stick this with the this kind of rubber adhesive or uh, E6000 or any hard... Uh, even I can say... Uh, the ordinary glue, fabric glue is also better than the glue gun. This fabric glue is better than the glue gun. That glue. If you're yeah. working on the... Sorry? The glue gives a better binding, I said, instead of the hard glue gun. Yeah. So what, what, see, if you are using this glue, if you want to use this glue, what you have to do, just apply a thick uh, layer of this glue, leave it for, say, two, three minutes. Let it dry and then you put it this, uh, uh, then you cover it. So it will stick immediately. Don't uh, just apply and stick it. Don't just apply and stick it. Even with the fairy bond also, just apply. Wait for some time, let's say one minute or 30 seconds and then you stick it. It depends how, like what area you are covering. Right? It depends on that. So right now I'm covering this with the glue gun. Pizza Arts has a question for you. Which texture are you using? You can use 
but probably you would like to know what a brand apexa was using right now i think it was too easy to what mm-hmm. is she asking asking apexa which texture paste have you used texture paste i'm using from tex only it's a tcs ka apna element craft studio ka hi texture paste hai right they have wonderful designs uh sorry shades of uh, chalk paints also it's not uh, hot little bit it should hot completely if you want to work on the mbf right till the time i'll just peel off this just remove it's an ordinary uh, corrugated like cardboard paper and i'm just removing the upper layer i i could do this before also but like maine socha yahan karke dikhaungi everybody knows this but still chitra ji said and as a planter rack in my garden sorry tali says we can use this as a planter rack Yes, yes. You can. It's a it's a rack, so you can use it as a planter rack, or you can use it as a any kind of. Uh, I'll show you what I have used, like what I have done it. I have made this clock for my kitchen. So the TCS is having amazing um, uh, elements, also wooden ele- elements, also wooden uh, wooden elements have the like uh, the kettles and cups. So I have used kettle and cups on this. that i'll show you once i finish with this things the final things i'll show you afterwards ye mujhe karke rakhna chahiye tha na swati to nahi ho raha hai na aur itna ke logon ko to time lena hi padega That's okay. अगर थोड़ा थोड़ा रह भी जाता तो इट विल लुक गुड ओनली नॉट ओनली थोड़ा बहुत चला लेना <laughs> पीसफुली खुद काम करने में क्लासेस लेने में और लाइव आने में बहुत फर्क पड़ता है एंड आई एम अबिट नर्वस आल्सो नॉट डूइंग एनीथिंग आई एम जस्ट दैट्स ओके आई थिंक दिस इज इनफ बिकॉज ये वैसे भी कवर होने वाला है सो लेट मी जस्ट कवर दिस पार्ट I'll go slowly and parallelly with both the uh, the thing. Pizza Art says, "Hum, she can even spend half a day for you. People are ready to spend half a day for you." <laughs> Thank you so much, Pizza. Yeah. I have people saying they can't hear me. They can't hear me. No, no, no. They can't you. hear you. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, I have fixed this. Maddie, can you hear me now? And now. i'll just break the stiffness of the corrugated sheet and this also i'll be placing it over here this is just to give a nice texture the corrugated sheets gives always a very nice texture when you are working with the mixed media or any kind of uh, projects vintage kind of project the corrugated sheets are always awesome to love awesome to work with okay 
so yes. this is the base i have prepared now on this i'll be putting i'll be using only three embellishments from the mold over here okay i'll be using these are from prima only three embellishments i'll be using and which i have already taken it from the mc now here let me just uh, uh, tell you few technical things about mc those who are working since long they have the idea mc is used for the uh, industrial purpose actually the name mc it is for the industrial purpose but if you are using shilpa kar it is used for the artist it is made made for the artist so that has a, a long setting time like uh, if mcl uh, dries within 20 minutes you will get 30 to 35 minutes for shilpa kar and now they have come up petalite is have come up with the mold it so mold it is again having a little more time just because of the sculpting purpose so they have set the time accordingly so you just have to mix both the resin and hardener clay in equal proportion and then you can work on it it is like see if you want to work for the mold you want to work very fast so then that time you can use mc seal also right okay now here i'll be see the my placement is very simple over here i'll be placing it like this and this part will go over here but now this is very straight it is already hard and okay. here the shape of this shelf is a curve see it is a curve so how will i put this now so here what you have to do you can just heat this embellishment oh and you can bend it this is something which i have never heard thank you so much for this wonderful tip because i never i know that liquid like you know the resin which because have... every time you cannot go on the soft molds and every like uh, as in when you required you just go can't go to the like take out the embellishment from the mold few things yeah. you have to keep it ready right yeah otherwise you won't be able to paint it immediately after otherwise that is another downside so that's a, it's a big mold so it will take little more time so how do we know that the mold is like softening and it is ready to bend without it breaking it starts automatically let me see let me just show ha ah, yeah oh okay uh, right yeah even so now i can put it also... i can put it and stick it and once it uh, like it leaves this heat no जैसे ठंडा हो जाता है इट गेट्स हार्ड एंड अगेन इन दैट पर्टिक्यूलर शेप सो नो ग्लू नथिंग यू जस्ट हैव बेंट इट एंड नो 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 आई हैव टू आई हैव टू अप्लाई ग्लू आई एम जस्ट कीपिंग इट ओवर हियर जस्ट टू गिव दैट पर्टिक्यूलर शेप ऑफ द बेस लाइक दिस सी इट इज क्वाइट फ्लेक्सिबल नाउ एंड नाउ आई कैन यूज माय glue gun and i can simply stick this so whether it is molded or m seal or shilpakar whatever medium you can do it yes, yes. you can use this yeah. yeah see it has taken the shape let me just show you from the side also it has taken the shape just see this yeah oh seriously right? yeah and here in the corner see i'll be putting it this way so i don't want these corners to be left out empty so okay. here again i'll be putting some like uh, stenciling and all so this again it's one more stencil you can use any kind of even the same stencil you can use it over here i'll be putting some corner over here both the sides with the texture paste
आई जस्ट गो ऑन गिप ऑन फॉर गेटिंग अरे यार मैंने कहा रख दिया मेरा पैलेट नहीं <laughs> See, I have kept it And we are giving a kind of a vintage look, no? So I am not keeping any surface very smooth. Okay. I am going to put. Okay, and with the same texture paste, I'm going to give a little texture over here everywhere. This random texture. Okay. Here I'm not putting much of the texture because it is going to cover with the the top part. Center part. Right? <clears throat> yeah. so i'll be covering this part and even this part i don't want the smooth surface so i'm just okay. applying the texture paste little bit here and there because this texture will give amazing look once you start painting yeah right now you will feel that what's the meaning of putting texture paste over here but you will get a very nice texture once you start coloring this okay Yeah, Abhishek, I'll just read out some things which have come in the comments box, or like in questions box. Yes, Those sir. Questions. They are just uh, thanks for your lovely, valuable suggestions, Abhishek. Pizza arts, lovely design molds. Whatever you create is going to be amazing from Arty Dreams. You will learn so Thank many. Thank you so much. She is awesome, Sudha Chari. That has so many. Uh, like she says, wow, cool idea. Oh, heat MCL pieces can be bent. Heated MCL pieces, basically. Yeah. Uh, Crafts and Crafts Madhuri says, "Wow, this mold molding technique is never heard before." Like, at least, yeah, definitely, most of us didn't know about it. I'm sure most of the viewers didn't know about it. That's a really thank you, thank you so much. Like those who have taken my classes already, they they, they knew it. Like, they 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 know all the all these techniques. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now let me keep this aside to dry. Now we'll work again. It is dried completely. This base is dried completely. Yeah. So now we'll work on this. We'll do foil embossing on this. Yeah. Uh, you need to just move the base a little up and towards your right. Uh, like this. Thoda or upper. Thoda. A half inch upper. Or upper. And now we can see the entire base almost, except for the last. Is it okay now? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Is it yes, okay? Yeah, yeah. So quickly, what you need to do, you just need to apply any glue. I suggest the fabric glue is also good for this. Okay. Simply apply glue. I'm more comfortable with my hands and fingers. I don't use brushes much. 
or the sponge also see i'm spreading the glue with my fingers yeah it should go on the depth of the design also okay not only over the Try texture to... even on the areas no everywhere everywhere otherwise the foil will come off after oh. some times like okay okay so thus we are going to stick the our ordinary kitchen foil okay this is a normal kitchen foil we are using i'm just putting okay. and you just have to blend it with your thumb or you can see if you okay. can see the embossing such a beautiful technique apeksha can you see the embossing yes yes of course each and every part you can just press it with your thumb to get the details of this stencil it's a lovely stencil see even this part this give, give this gives you see the dots and everything oh. will come out very nicely beautiful so i'll just remove the extra foil okay. and like decorative what we do the edges we remove by sending it yeah so just i think this is clear very clear so i'll be sending it the extra part it's just a sandpaper i have put it on the cutter na <laughs> that's what i was thinking clean a little mess so now you can see the foil embossing right yes absolutely fantastic and see if you want to raise the stencil more agar aapko ye aur raised chahiye dubara i have made something i have used the same stencil let me just show you should i show you right now or afterwards <laughs> No, let me show you with this only with this only so that uh, everyone gets idea if you yeah. want more ray with the stencil see here is the piece what i made it's a stencil only the same stencil right yeah but can you see the effect that's not the stenciling effect what did you do so on the same stencil i applied one more coat with the cone okay so once it dries you can again do the same technique and you can get the more raised. detailed raised effect right is it clear yeah yeah very clear okay So now let's. I think the base is also dry. You know, texture, jo texture paste hai, it dries very quickly. Ha. 
it dries very quickly so it is very easy to work with such kind of projects so yahan pe maine center okay this i'll fix it so you're just fixing the top to the base of the or shell yes okay fine yeah i just remove the center part just by pressing it okay and this i'm going to fix it with this base okay again i don't prefer the glue gun for such kind of things but right now i'm using it just to make the process faster i think this is one thing which all artists have been telling us that you know unless you don't have time or you're doing a live tutorial it's always better to use a wet glue okay now here i'm putting some border okay and i have already taken it from the glue gun wow these are have and painted with the black gesso because oh. i want it flexible even mcl also you can do it but isme kya hai it's it's we need more curved so it oh. might be possible ki mcl aapka toot sakta oh. hai right yeah so for such things i'm using the glue gun ka embellishments it will look like this okay guys you will get all these uh, casts what do you call people call them molds but when you put a material in the mold and cast it those are called casts those casts like the first three which she has shown uh, from prima molds uh, to corner kind of things and one big thing which she had put in the center and these glue gun molds also will be a part of your kit for this project so i'm just right now fixing it with the glue gun only so this part which you have fixed now is not uh, on your like it's not within the frame so when you do it on the other side probably will it will be more clear for us friends if you have any question you can definitely ask why am i not able to see any other i have a prompt for two questions I'm cutting extra. Okay. Now see here, the glue gun has dried, so I'll just remove okay. and then apply it again. Yeah, because otherwise you will not not get the finishing. Okay. The new questions. Okay. Yeah. And now I'll be fixing the side uh, missing. Now take care of one thing that you cover most of the part. This is coming out a little bit only. I'll cover most of the part and I'll put it most of the part of the embellishment inside, so that it get it gets good base. Otherwise, this will be very fragile. I have taken it very thin, wala. 
जो एकदम मोटा मोटा होता है इट विल लुक वेरी ऑड लेट मी जस्ट शो यू द मोल्ड विच आई हैव यूज फॉर दिस विच इज वेरी डीप मोल्ड एक्चुअली सी दिस मोल्ड इज वेरी डीप एंड माई कास्ट इज वेरी थिन because i want to give a little delicate look not that the raised one and all so try to cover the most of the part on the base of the clock it supported the back supported huh? yeah so such a delicate part like this and this it will not like be damaged so let me just stick it quickly with the Am I fast or slow? I think no, I'm no. slow. <laughs> no, no, you're not fast. You're not slow. Also, you're giving us so many tips and details. It's I don't think anybody will be complaining. Like bizarre for a long class, long haul. Okay, so I have fixed this, and quickly I'll be covering this with the black gesso, or you can use even I will be using the black. uh chalk paint as i said this base don't need much uh, primer and primer kind of a thing i'll simply be taking the black chalk paint i'm taking chalk paint right now just because ki i want to dry it very quickly even gesso dries very quickly but still and i also think that black chalk paint is something which would uh, I mean, which we would have in our stash or even if it's a part of the kit can be used again So just um, I have already painted the embellishments, and now see. Abhi kuch nahi pata chalega. Everything will be black, but once you start painting it, no, each and every small texture will come out. Even the foil and everything, I'll be come uh, covering with the chalk paint, ah. Huh? even this foil part also okay and the foil uh, part when you cover it with chalk paint there's no issue or piksha matlab wo peel nahi hota hai nahi okay chalk paint uh, peel nahi hota yes. if you are using acrylic to yes, acrylic will come out and yeah. if you want to use acrylic then you need to uh, give a primer coat on foil like any gesso or anything and then you can apply um, acrylic paint but i think chalk paint works best for most of the artist uh, i mean this kind of projects crafting projects not the like the art art as your drawing or paintings but i'm covering each and every part of the clock right now with the black gesso sorry chalk paint thank you for the foil foil will require two coats huh? Huh. Foil will not be like I'll not be able to cover the foil in a single go. You need to cover it with at least two coats because the surface is not porous, right? Yeah, it's a slick surface, just like your plastics and glass. Yeah. Exactly. So you need to apply two coats on that. TCS has all amazing shades with the chalk paints. Like a shade, I'll be using the terracotta brick kind of a shade. I'll be using different combination on this, uh, Swati. Okay. I'll not use the same combination. Yeah, so that you know, people also will to see how you know the same project mm -hmm. can different, but just by using different colors. Yes. Okay, while Apeksha is coloring, I'd like to tell something. We have a class by our own Rakhi Mittal Garg or Rakhi Garg, whatever you would like to call her, on twenty uh, third. That is our first anniversary. So I thought since since she is our founder and also I mean our franchiser and the founder of the Element Craft Studio, it would only be apt for her, for us to have her on that particular day. 
so we'll be ending this wonderful sessions with various artists on 23rd and our artist on 23rd is rakhi most of you must have seen the facebook post but in case you have missed it the only difference is rakhi garg's class will be on facebook text hyderabad page and not on instagram guys i'm telling you again rakhi garg's class because all these four sessions we have had on instagram so i just want to make it very clear to you and when you share it with your friends or like minded crafters please let them know that the class on 23rd the timings would be the same it would be at 4:30 pm but it would be on the element craft studio hyderabad page on facebook thank you so much apeksha <laughs> for not letting me talk in the middle no no it's okay this is the most boring part of the project <laughs> no no but still yesterday so she was generally generally i give it to my children <laughs> wow they also enjoy painting it yeah Okay, one more complaint I have heard, right? The scars, scars of the yeah, the strings of the yes. You know how you can remove it once you finish your project. You get the scars, right? You just blow it off with the glue gun, and all the scars okay. will go off. Let me just get any kind of a scars. It will shrink, and you will not be able to see any kind of scars. You don't have to struggle with the one more strings and all. Picture. You just blow your heat gun on that, and you are sorted with the. So let me just try this quickly. See, do it as live. I cannot do it with the perfection, but you have to cover all the edges like this also from the back side also. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Understand. Like this, because once you hang it on the wall, from the side also, it should look proper. Let's say it should look good, right? Yeah. Now see this fall. I could not cover with a single coat, so I'll dry it quickly, and then I'll apply a second coat. Though we are going to wipe it off only, but that will do once we start painting, not now. So now, before coloring, one thing you should keep in mind that whatever you're using, the black gesso or chalk paint or anything, it should dry completely. Then only. So this is a glue gun scar. If you can see. Okay. this will melt very easily
so you can get rid of those yeah see So it's dried completely now, and I'll apply a second coat of gesso on this. This is completely black now. See? Yeah. So I'm done with the. base coat and now let me dry the second coat also So now it's dried completely, and we'll start painting. And I'll be using these two shades. Okay, and terracotta yesterday. Yeah. Yes, this one and the chestnut. This is a wonderful shade. I just hope it's a wonderful. Are... Yeah, these are the. Uh, completely indian shades so i'll be playing with these two shades we are running out of time Uh, there is no time limit apeksha there is absolutely no time limit priya's class we had done for 70 i mean almost one and a half hours uh, mansa's also i think was one and a half hours it's okay they just okay. get done with the project no issues at all okay now see what i'll be doing let me just show you my original piece what i have made i have balanced the color both the colors like this the complete outer part here i have taken the red tone so again just to make it contrast i have taken green over here so wherever i'll be taking green i'll be taking red also but it should be balanced everywhere if you can see yeah yeah very clear it has a flow it has a flow like here i have taken the green completely like this and then the center part i think i am not able to cover it completely like see over here it is a same tone like this on the outside and on the inside and the center part yeah and rest i have covered with the red and i'll be using totally dry brushing technique on this so i'm simply taking very less color on my brush i'll start coloring i'm not going to put any kind of pressure 
know, how the details are popping up from the moon. I mean, whatever details the moon yeah. has. So from outside, I'm taking red. I'm just saying it red, huh? Please mind the <laughs> case. It's chestnut actually, but this is having very wonderful vintage color. Okay. You don't have to mix and match, or you don't have to take any other shade if you're working such kind of wonderful shades, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and the same thing. No shades again. Yeah, and the same thing. I'll be applying on the on applying it on the border of this. See, I'm taking very less color. Yeah. You can see now, Aswati. Yeah, yeah, very clearly. and i want a little bit red over here also because the center part i'm going to do with the uh, green shade coloring uh, the area and on your left just move the clock towards when I mean, the shelf to yeah so that yeah make sure i think this is one tip which priya has given mm -hmm. for us mark the area which is visible in the camera so that we always make sure we come back into the frame you know yeah we, we mark we do everything but when we engross ourselves in the yeah, uh, yeah. the you yeah. know project upar kya ho raha hai kya dikh raha hai wo nahi ho pa raha hai but that is why you are there no <laughs> yeah yeah cutely <laughs> no sorry I said, look at the way the corrugated sheet looks now. Wow. Okay, this is done. Now I'll take the second sheet. My brush is dry completely, and the same way I'm using the second shade. Is it visible? No, no. You have to move it. Yeah, a little to your right, Apeksha, please. still yeah to the right ah huh. huh, yeah now we can see now this is a little darker tone so you have to work twice yeah first time it might not because the pigment might not yeah. be done yeah it's a darker tone and just blend it with the second shade which we have already done yeah. before the red one so just blend it well with the earlier shade and now the center part i'll be covering with this don't worry this is darker to so let it dry and then second coat when we will do it yeah, then it will be visible even you can highlight it with the white my favorite is like most of the people know my final highlighting will be there with the white, white or gold okay so once you apply the last white coat everything is visible every single detail okay and even the center part i'll be covering with the same shade now can you see the stencil design is popping up now this you need to paint it completely like it sh it should not be the dry brushing mm mm-hmm. here the center part on foil it should not be the dry brushing why is that apeksha because we need the same shade in the depth also okay 
when you are doing any kind of dry brushing it will <laughs> only the, the part the, but, yeah. yeah the design part only will be seen right yeah. but here we need our colors to go in the depth also yeah. and that what is the reason for that that will uh, that you will come to know once yeah. you see the magic <laughs> <laughs> i told you when the magic happens you also said the same thing yeah so right now i'm actually already giving a single coat so vintage see so this is very this is very dull color right now yeah but once it dries and i'll apply the second coat you will get the see this shade you will get Okay. Since you are just coloring, I'll open the comments for some time so that you know people who are really dying. Yeah, no, sure, 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 sure. Because <laughs> I, that I is a better. Justly talking and saying, "Wow, ye, oh!" I'm sure people would like to say something. The comments are now open. You can happily appreciate Apeksha's work. Don't appreciate. Just ask if you have any queries. Appreciation oh, is there. It's okay. Yeah. But right now, it's a question to uh, like uh, clear your queries if you have. It is. It is really beautiful eye creations. Ninety. Yeah. Even I'm in love with it. I mean, I love the shades. Incredible work. The crafty treasure. I keep seeing that there are two new questions, but every time I scroll, I don't find any new questions. I don't know why it keeps coming up. Minecraft village are beautiful. Dear all, I request you once again to please follow Text Dot Hyderabad. I'm sure we'll be coming up with more. tutorials which probably i will not be advertising so much so unless you follow you will not be notified and i am planning on collaborating with a few artists and getting more interesting tutorials i am sure i know who the artists are or the artists also know but i still am yet to ask them huh? i know who the artists i am going to approach are that's what i meant please colors names colors blue Colors are uh, one is chestnut and the other is algae. Blue color is algae and the rust kind of a color is chestnut. It's like that. Okay, the so this is dried now, yeah. but it should dry completely. Okay, before I show the magic. even here also you can do shading like from this okay. part i have taken blue let me just mm. take red over here so that it will complement the, the second color also this the center part let me take this one so that will complement the shade the blue yes. shade everything will be available in the kit the colors the base uh probably aluminum foil because it's just kitchen foil it might not be a part of the kit the base the colors the molds especially the cast see the cast the three big pieces which she has used from prima and uh, the rope kind of a glue gun mold which she has given which is flexible uh, all these let me let me just clear one point over here don't yeah. just uh, focus on the stencil design Uh, it is not highlighting or anything but it's okay you need to cover the design that's it okay it is yeah. going in the depth it's okay it is not like that we do generally the highlighting and everything it is not like that let it go in the depth let the cover like uh, cover the complete surface of this thing yeah it should not be like that ki uh, highlight karna hai jaise yahan pe humne kiya it should not be like that just cover it completely And even you can blend it if you want a little bit. That's okay. Now it's coming together so beautifully. Oh my God! I'm really okay. Impressed. So now I this should dry completely. This should dry completely. the The main condition of this technique is this should dry completely. 
तभी आपको वो एक एंटिक टाइप का लुक आएगा ओके नाउ सिंपली टेक अ वेट टिश्यू एंड जस्ट रब इट जस्ट रब इट स्टार्ट रबिंग इट सी इट इज नॉट ड्राइड कंप्लीटली एंड दैट इज वाई ऑल द कलर्स रेड कलर्स हैव गॉन so it should okay. dry completely like for okay. here i have take like a uh, red abhi abhi kiya tha na let me just show over here okay. that blue should be there because okay. this technique we need to take care abhi yahan pe bhi the blue is not dried completely the condition What of mean? this technique in... sorry i said if you want we'll wait for a couple of minutes no But see I... it is coming off this yeah. coming off so what we can do again we need to apply the same thing like uh, the black gesso and the colors and everything otherwise it will come off this way okay and see in so my the thing you can see the see the green thing yeah yeah because it has gone in the depth it should dry completely and then only we can wipe it off so wipe it just... off It shows wherever there is the embossed texture paste. Yes, and the rest of it has color. Let me just color it again. See, don't fear for anything. Like everything has a solution. This is actually the live, and I could not wait. and that is the reason it it came off right yeah but actually in a way these mistakes will help learner beginners and people like me who have not tried this technique to understand ki we shouldn't do certain things we should wait and stuff like that and in case something like this out of this is a little bit time taking like pura karke pura dry ho ke and then you have to wait and then you can wipe it the thing is just you need to wipe it but carefully once it dries completely okay Yati, this I show on the corner only because this yeah, really one... needs time to yeah. dry. Okay, one so, small section dry completely. Yeah, that's, that's what that. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'll try to dry it. The color combination being so good. And again, just. very carefully you need to wipe it with the wipes wet wipes or you can uh, take any wet cloth also see like this yeah very perfect. carefully you need to remove The raised part of the stencil. Let me just give you a little closure look. I think this yeah. part is. Is no, it okay? No, no. Can you see? No. Yeah. Now, now we can see. Yeah. So this yeah, way you need to remove. Yeah. Once the color gets dry completely. Okay. So I'll do this. Later. And I'll show you. Like I'll post the complete picture. This is a time taking thing. but this is a technique once you apply the black gesso then you paint the uh, okay. chalk paint painted with the chalk paints let it dry completely it should dry completely like thoda sa bhi wetness nahi hona chahiye and then you can just scratch the color from the design yeah you can scratch the color from the design 
Okay, just try if I can get at least a little part. No, that part actually is coming out beautifully. I think that part. Yeah, is... it will come, but right right now the color is also I'm... coming off. Yeah. That is the reason because it is C. Ah, like wow. this. Beautiful. Right, and this will give you such an embossing effect. The foil embossing effect. Yeah. I don't know the light is uh, giving justice or not. No, but what is happening is uh, the light is reflecting more of the hands of the clock than anything else. Yeah. Now it's better. Yeah. Is it okay? Yes. Yes. So this time you need to scratch it from the design, and the stencil design will come off. Right. Yeah. and this thing i have taken simply the print out and just dry brush the edges that's it okay how did you do the a numbers did not follow numbers i just have pasted the print outs okay so you took a white digit on a black thing and pasted the entire piece exactly. of yeah yeah yes oh. yes very interesting it's a reverse so and yeah. then i have stuck it over here right so i think i'll just put the complete picture once i finish that center part finish this yeah because right now no, it's i okay. think everything will come out uh, do it because i don't yeah. want it on uh, Let's see this way this way the design should be highlighted the foil yeah. design should be highlighted here okay. this way this way yeah. here it is still wet wet so the color is also coming out so this i'll finish but that is the technique basically yeah sure what is the technique loaded session yeah. so many techniques yeah. yeah see here also these are the chalk paints the two shades i have taken from the text only the i think leafy green is there and this is the uh, i think chestnut only but, yes and here i have Then the contrast thing. Yeah, and uh, those corners which you have uh, done on that particular frame, the water chest, chestnut and uh, leafy green wala frame. Sorry. Uh, can you bring the leafy green and chestnut wala frame back into? No, not this time. Yes. Yeah. This is leafy green. Okay, okay. The clock one. No, no. Ab abhi ab ek frame dikha. Go this uh, camera. Ah, uh ah. -huh. Yeah, this and other frame. Yeah, on this you had on the corners. So I have not that... used. I have not used any mold in this. Okay. And it's completely raised. Okay. Very nice. Beautiful. Even like as I said, now you don't need anything much. With the text के basis एक मैंने आपसे मंगवाया था this is just a let me just show this is just a look at these girls tray this is a tray so I have converted tray. it into a frame this is just a frame and एक दम rustic vintage look देखे मैंने it's a golden touch देखे it's a raised one Okay, yeah. And this is having the simple traditional work of the three D outliner. This piece from the new release. In case anybody is interested, yeah. you can out your orders through us. And let me just show one more. This is a tray. Actually, it was a tray. Wow. Wow, I think uh, आप थोड़ा उसको मैं मैं ना फ्रंट में लेके आपको दिखाऊंगी लेट्स जस्ट कैन यू फ्लिप द कैमरा ना ठीक है जब वंस द क्लासेस टू यू मोस्ट वेलकम टू फ्लिप द कैमरा द कमेंट्स आल्सो आई टर्न देम बैक ऑन बिलीव So this is actually beautiful. beautiful. 
It's like this. So with a tray. So or any... Yeah, it's a tray. It's an ordinary tray. <laughs> Hats off to your ideas. Beautiful. All the kit prizes so, will be put up on the twenty fifth. The the tutorial. Most of. Awesome. My audible. <laughs> Chitrali said, "For completing, please gift it." Chitrali, why am I first? Madhuri says, "So, any questions or any questions related to uh, the project, or any questions related to uh, any technique, or you want to ask something? Because today I have done like not exactly." Um, Mixed media project. I cannot say it's a mixed media project. It's a project. It's a clock. It's an antique. Uh, um, I can say what you can say. What can I say? Only that is correct. It's a home decor project. It's a home decor project. Home decor. Yeah. Yeah. Raki has come up with a wonderful uh, Diwali this thing. Also, she has made uh, like this shubla and everything. टेक्निक And you can see the detail. I have not coloured it. It's just normal. Wow. wow, wow! But the base is so wonderful that you don't have to do much. But then, guys, I don't know if you have noticed the way she has used that acrylic frame. I'm sure none of us, at least most of us, wouldn't have thought about it. We would have just put it, just say, "Aya, why is he laga?" Apeksha has thought out of the box, and she's. Used it on the other end. No, no, no. Diva, my God, Diva, the mind is not coming. Why you have like why you have have to comment here? Let no, them ask, no? No, because you were showing that piece and it wasn't. Okay, uh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, Sushma has asked you, how do you seal them after completing the work? These projects. Sorry. How do you seal the project after completing the work? Okay, you can uh, see chalk paints doesn't need any uh, coating basically, because once you uh, apply the spray or anything varnish or anything, it will give the uh, glossy effect, right? So the beauty will go off. The chalk paint का जो matte beauty है. So the matte varnish you can definitely use. You can even use the Bosni spray. Spray is also there. so matte finish any spray any varnish spray you can use but i personally feel i don't use any kind of varnish on my projects uh another uh, thing which you guys can do for sealing these projects is you can use clear wax not uh, i mean i i haven't used uh, the wood wax or uh, the other kind of wax which is available on text that is not what i'm i'm talking about the actual no, wax also to give a little bit of shining very yeah, little bit of shining that wax doesn't give a uh, shine at all apeksha you have to just uh, buff it clear wax because i i generally don't use any kind of varnish on my projects frankly kind of speaking yeah yes pizza chalk paints looks very cool yeah i like the matte finish only i don't apply anything yeah so and yeah. see like after 24 hours to 48 hours it will be like more uh, sturdy like it will be stiff and like you will not be able to wipe it off even you can see abhi to mera foil pe se nikal gaya because it is wet but agar 48 hours ke baad main isko ghis ke bhi nikalna chahungi to it will be difficult to come 
फिर उसके लिए आपको हटाने के लिए यू हैव टू यूज सम थिनर और कुछ ऐसा एक्स्ट्रा यू हैव टू यूज यस So any Most questions? Because yes, I think let's finish off with the session. Yeah. Thank you all for joining us. So this brings to end the four artists who were surprises for you uh, when we had run the contest. The contest winners also will be announced on the twenty third, and the kits, the pricing of all the four kits. In fact, the fifth kit, which Raki will be doing the project for us. All the prizes and their availability, everything will be announced on twenty fifth, and we'll be start. I mean, we probably will be able to ship them in a day or two after twenty fifth because Tex, uh, the studio is like Thank you so much. Diwali offers. So I mean, Diwali orders actually because of the offers. So we have to give them some time to sort things out and start shipping out the kids. But I'm sure all of you all are very patient with that. and uh, once again apeksha thank you so 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 much for doing this session i had a thank you my god hope I you like the session thank you for being there love you. thank you bye bye yeah right are we done thank you subha yeah yeah i think that's we should leave yeah. Bye everyone love you for being there <laughs>